unique spots in Japan. Huh? Don't wanna try the islands in the Seto Inland Sea. I used to go there all the time when I was in middle school. <laughs> of the information humans analyze, they say 80% is derived from the eyes. I'll reveal the desires with which you concur by testing what colors and shapes you prefer. Question one. Which entity would you select from these two? If both claim they'll make all your wishes come true. Question two. Designate the dragon you deem most desirable. Dragon. Question three. Would you prefer Hera, austere and spruce, or moon goddess Artemis, daughter of Zeus? I don't know. Question four. On one person's mind is a mathematics test, the other a dream from their last night's rest. From out of these two, which does it seem is the one remembering their dream? Question five. You catch your partner cheating on you. In what way would you look at the two? Question six. You go to an all-you-can-eat buffet. Which set of food do you put on your tray? Question seven. Pick the picture you prefer. Question eight. You're instructed in art class to... These questions were drafted. It may be your, your innate need for growth. <laughs> what is it? So, I heard from Madam Prez that you got amnesia. Does losing your memory change your personality too? Right, guess there's no point in asking if you wouldn't remember. 
But speaking of personality changes, Mr. Tsumabuki was a normal old man before. What could have made him change so much? I wouldn't want to end up like him when I get old, all shriveled and spineless. I don't know. So you're the infamous Ryotaro Date. Infamous? Even us middle schoolers know about how much of a completely hopeless problem child you are. <laughs> I always figured that if the rumors were true, that made you vermin infesting our academy. But now that I know you're the pact bearer of gluttony, well, it's even worse than I thought. Hostile takeover is more of a plague than a power. It even sounds like an invasive species. You're no better than a maggot. <laughs> Pretty sharp tongue you got there. You're Shinya Yuda, right? The Dean and Mr. Yugo's kid? Adopted kid would be more accurate. Adopted or not, you're still their kid, right? I guess. But that doesn't mean I'm going to just go around parading the fact. I don't have the guts to do something like that to them. <laughs> Who's the problem child now? What? If I'm a plague of maggots, doesn't that make you a little roach? All you do is talk crap on yourself while you roll around in the gutters. Are you trying to pick a fight with me? Hmm. You're the one who started it. What's so wrong about calling a maggot a maggot? Self-righteous pact bearers like you shouldn't even exist in the first place. You know, if you want me to shatter your ideals first, I can. Bring it on, you little shit stain. It'll just end with you crying home to mommy. <sighs> There's no need to trouble Sora over a little bit of pest control. <sighs> when the time comes to shatter your ideals, I'll do it with pleasure. Can't wait to see you try. building. You've already met her, right? Wasn't she the greatest? Oh. What? Dr. Shiraneko is a saint. How could you not recognize that? She's beautiful and nice. You don't see a combination like that every day. There are some rumors about her. I hear she likes to drink and that she has terrible luck with men. But even so, that doesn't make her any less nice. Good to go. Here's some medicine. Don't push yourself too hard. Not to sound like a total sleaze. You sure are popular with the girls. <laughs>
Oh, the mist is clearing up. Now I can see what's going on in here. I can carry out any students who aren't feeling well, too. I thought I told you it was too dangerous to come inside. It's fine. The mist is gone. You got amnesia, right, Mr. VP? Well, I guess it doesn't matter either way. Hey, now! You're hurting my feelings here. I'm Neko Yasuragi, licensed physician. Normally, I'm helping out that lazy bones, Dr. Kakeru. You can call me Dr. Shiro Neko. Who are you, by the way? You seem to be a second year, but I don't think I know you. Huh. I see. And you're the vice president of the TSC? It's nice to meet you. You wait outside, Dr. Neko. I'll bring out anyone who's really in bad shape. We'd all be done for if something happened to you. Hey, I told you to call me Dr. Shiro Neko. And I'm not going to just wait outside. How can you expect me to stand by when there are students in danger? I'm the doctor and the adult here. You've got to trust me. I do trust you. I'm just worried. Well, don't be. I'm just going to check on the first aid room. If it comes down to it, I'll bring out a couple of students, too. I'll be fine. Guess there's no changing your mind. We'll take you to the first aid room just to be safe. You mind, Mr. VP? <laughs> Rio Taro has a good heart, Mr. Vice President. So don't give up on him too quickly. Whatever. Let's just head to the first aid room already. You're going the wrong way, Ryotaro. It's in the opposite direction. Oh, right. My bad. I'm gonna go on ahead. His sense of direction is awful. Have you noticed? When all the anomalies started, he couldn't even find the second year building. He just wandered around campus. If I hadn't found him, he'd still be scratching his head next to the old dormitory. Surprisingly cute, isn't it?
It hurts. It hurts. Everyone looks white as a sheet, and they're sweating up a storm. It's okay. I've got. I examined all the places they said were hurting, but it's no good. I couldn't find anything out of the ordinary. Like Rio Taro said, it's almost like the suffering itself is contagious. The source might be beyond our comprehension, like the mist is. Ryoko here has the worst of it. I'll bring her with me when I leave. We should have Dr. Kakeru take a look at her. Ma'am, please wait. Mr. Tsumabuki said we shouldn't leave the building. It'll only make us even more sick. <laughs> huh? Don't worry about it. You're the medical professional, aren't you? Just do what you think is best, Dr. Neko. Right. Don't worry. I'll be with you the whole way. Rio Taro, Mr. Vice President, could you two help me carry her out? No prop.
Hey, you shouldn't be on your feet. What happened? Sorry, Dr. Shiraneko. It's just... The moment I left the building... That awful pain disappeared. As if it never existed. But... How? What's going on with me? <sighs> Try to stay calm. Let's get you to the infirmary for now. Can you walk on your own? Yeah. You think it's because she got out of range of the authority? Maybe it doesn't actually make them sick. Maybe it's just inflicting pain on the people nearby. What kind of jealousy leads to a jacked-up power like this? We'd better prepare ourselves. This pack bear's looking like more of a psycho by the minute. There's no telling what shit they'll pull. warned you, but you refused to heed her. This happened once before. One student couldn't take the pain and forced his way past the mist, barely making it out of the building. <sighs> As a result of their actions, the illness worsened still. Some even died. These poor, pitiful children. You are the cause of their suffering. Your foolishness has what? antagonized their illness. It might even be the death of them. Uh, uh, death? Uh, you mean we're going to die? Bring Ryoko back. If her leaving made things worse, then her coming back might make it better. Yeah, it has to. Please, you've got to bring her back. I'm in so much pain. I don't want to die. Man, you guys are pathetic. Nothing but a pack of worthless deadbeats. All you do is drag people down to your level. So what? As long as it helps everyone get better, who cares? That's easy for you to say. Everybody suffering equally is way better than one of us getting off easy. It's common sense. Knock it off with the utilitarianism crap already. This ain't about what's good or bad. That shit means jack to me. 
Makes me want to hurl. I'm saying what you guys are doing is dumb as hell. Ain't nothing cool about it. That's all. You could never understand their suffering, nor my own. You who are privileged. You who live only by the impulses of your ego. You're right. I don't get it, and I'm not gonna try. I got my own problems, and yours ain't one of them. Just how selfish can you be? You are the scion of the Date family, yet you don't have a care in the world. This is the embodiment of injustice. Can it, old man? Don't judge me by your standards. Mr. VP. Don't even think about bringing her back. Logic isn't gonna apply here. We don't know for sure if it'll make things better. If they want her back so bad, they should go and get her themselves. Or actually, maybe they should all just leave at once. Wouldn't that fix everything? Uh, uh. The, that won't do! There's no way they could all get out, sir. Some are in so much pain, they can't even move. Surely, some would be left behind. Those who fail to make it out may die from agony if they bear this illness's burden alone. <sighs> Go ahead and suffer together then. I'm done here. You! Do you possess even a shred of empathy? Who knows? The only person I do anything for is me. Even if I do help someone else, it's just because I wanted to. Second thoughts? No. About the girl we helped out, I mean. <laughs> Sounds like the two of us are cut from the same cloth. I don't regret a damn thing. I'm no saint, though. I'm just me. So I'm gonna do what I want. And if things turn out worse because of it, then whatever. I'm not gonna... I don't care if what I do gets in someone else's way. We're in this together now, so you better be ready. That's all. It's just... Nah, never mind. Let's get to looking for that call, Mr. VP. I'm pissed as all hell right now. We gotta smash those ideals pronto. That'll put an end to this. It seems this... the door from this side. You can't escape now. Follow God's will. 
No, 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 no! It is God's will to cleanse your soul with madness. It is the ultimate. If we do not satisfy God's demands, the path to salvation will never open. All is for the sake of our deliver. <sighs> <laughs> Abracadabra. Abracadabra. <laughs> now I can play all the games. Close the doors now I can and play windows. all the games I want. <laughs> now I can play all the games I want. No homework, no worries, just game. No homework, no worries, just No homework. <laughs> what the hell? I've locked the door. You can't escape now. That's right! The madness! The anomalies! It once the madness pervades the entire for the sake of our <sighs> <laughs> What the hell? I've locked you can't escape. That's right, once the for the sake of <sighs> <laughs> What the hell? I've locked you can't es That's right, once the map for the sake <sighs> <laughs> No homework, no worries, just Lock up games, games head and home. more games. Close the doors and win. No homework. No. No homework. No worries. Just games, games, and more games. This is bliss. <laughs> what the hell? I've locked. You can't. Es no. No, it is God. If we do not, all is for the. <sighs> now I can play all the games I want. No homework, no worries, just games, games, and more games! <laughs> now I can play all the games and head home. I want. That was supposed to be it. Close the doors and windows. No homework, no worries, just game. No homework, no worries, just games, games, and more games. <laughs>
Just games, games, and more games. This is bliss. <laughs> what the hell? I've locked the. You can't escape. No, it is God's will. If we do not satisfy, all is for the sake. <sighs> Close the doors and windows. The doors and windows. <laughs> now I can play. No, huh? 
homework. Thank <laughs> you. 
homework. No worry. <laughs> what the hell? I've locked the... You can't escape me. Hidden folder? No, it can't be possible. How much could a piece... What? It can't be. You really managed to log into my account? What a total lack of netiquette. Your behavior is demonic. Still, as long as you lose your sanity here, my secrets will remain safe. You demon! That does it. I'll make you forget everything you saw by force! <laughs> Sounds good to me. Bring it on. He talked big, but he wasn't all that. Right. Now we can get out of the computer lab. But, uh, maybe try to forget about what we saw. I am... These things always look cheap, no matter how many times I see them. Never would have thought a little rock like this could lead to you losing your authority. Speaking of which... What happens to a pack bear when all their ideals are shattered? They die. See? soul, huh? Ideals are basically a person's principles, yeah? I thought that might have been it when I first heard what they were called. Guess I was right. I really can't afford to have my pack broken. My power, my soul. If they're gone, I won't be myself anymore. Sorry, but you just caught me in a shitty mood. Don't expect me to go easy on you. Let's go, Ryotaro. It's mutant time. Get ready! <laughs> Here I come.
checkmate. Here I go. You're mine. Devour them. Ryotaro, just another step up the ladder. And that is the reason why I grinded. who revel in a happiness they do not deserve. I want the power to fix this inequity. The power to correct this disparity. Power strong enough to distort the natural laws of cause and effect. For I have the right to be special. I will distribute the suffering in the proper manner, without discrimination. If no equality exists in this world, then I shall create it myself. The power to distort cause and effect, huh? If that's what's been putting people in pain, then the pain has to be coming from somewhere. brought over. Dr. Kakeru examined her, but there was nothing wrong with her at all. Apparently, she ran out of the infirmary bursting with energy. Dr. Shironeko seemed satisfied about it, so she went back to the second year building. I didn't get a chance to talk to her. I kind of wish I did. So, 
Why are you fighting the pack bearers? I get that you want out of the academy, but what I can't figure out is the reason. It's not like you have any memories. Why even bother? Chiyo's health isn't the greatest, huh? You want her to be somewhere without any mist. I can respect that. Protecting someone you care about, I mean. <laughs> You're a selfless guy with a selfless ego. I don't have any problem with people fighting for what matters most to them. But I got my own way of doing things. And I'm proud of that. Our wishes might clash one of these days. Let's have a fair fight if it comes down to it. This ain't about who's right or wrong. We gotta let our feelings do the talking. Still, if there was some way to get out of here without fighting the other pack bearers, maybe we wouldn't have to go against each other. I don't know. Don't you think it's worth looking into? Mm. Answers don't just fall out of the sky. You no, gotta no. look for them and snatch them up. Well, see you guys on the next one. Bye bye.